Folks, got a new knife for you. What I have here is the Real Steel Citus. This is their latest uh, version of the... <laughs> well, actually, it's a follow-up. I shouldn't say it's the latest version. It does follow along the same lines as the Terra. I'm not sure if I reviewed this on my YouTube channel. I might have done it just on my Instagram. But you can see there's like some similarities in design in the blade shape. It's a smaller iteration. So this Citus is a limited edition variant that apparently Real Steel Knives is going to be doing for future runs. Um, again, this is a Citus and it's a liner lock. And it's a... It's got this beautiful shred carbon fiber. Hopefully, I can't really tell my camera if this is too dark, but it's a shred carbon fiber, which is actually glow in the dark. Um, so those little pieces of shred in there are all glow in the dark material. If that's what you're into, yes, it's very 20, 2013, 2014. They're trying to bring it back. I think Real Steel Knives is just trying to capture the markets that are coming up with uh, different materials that they're putting on their knives. This is a steel liner lock, but they lighten it up nicely as you can see over there. I can wait for you if you want. So it is a uh, steel, not titanium, but it still comes in pretty light. I hope you can see this. It comes in weighing at 3.76. Hopefully you can see that. I don't know why I went with the white background. Hopefully it's not too reflective. It's also got a glow-in-the-dark um, polymer backspacer. And it's, uh, again, it's a design by Poltergeist Blade, Poltergeist Works, right? So this is uh, designed by Jacob that Real Steel has been doing a few collaborations. If you're a a viewer of the channel you know that they've done a couple of uh, Jacobs designs uh, it's got a nice D2 steel blade flat grind and in comparison to the Terra you can see it's a little bit sleeker a little bit more straight right this one's kind of got like a a thumb ramp where they went straighter and you can see that the the back of the spine on the Terra is rounded off which was I thought was a nice feature and here they just went with a flat uh, spine jimping still there and the traditional chain ring bolts that that is signature of poltergeist works got a lanyard loop uh, integrated with the glow-in-the-dark backspacer and I wish, I mean, I do like this pocket clip. It's just a steel pocket clip. Now, I'm not sure. This isn't out yet. You might be, if you're going to Blade Show, I, I believe they're going to have a few of these at their table. So go check them out. I don't have a price point on this yet, but I know the G10 version is about 85 bucks. And again, it's something affordable EDC that Real Steel Knives is trying to capture. They went with this, although pretty cool pocket clip. It is pretty cool. I think just my idea, my thoughts. I think it would have been better with the wire pocket clip because it's you know it's this beautiful glow in the dark shred carbon fiber and I think it would look better if you can see through it we'll, we'll see I'll do the glow in the dark hopefully you guys can see it um, it is a, again it's a drop point d2 blade with the thumb hole opener so it is ambidextrous you can open it lefty if you're not gimpy with your left Alrighty, you can middle flick it. I believe it's on washers. I don't know if it's some bearings. I didn't take it down. I believe it's on washers. Overall length is about 8.15 and the blade length is about three and a half inches. Um, some of the difference they did on the handle scales is that they contoured it and they chamfered it all around where the Terra you can see it's kind of like a flat carbon fiber and that was some of the criticism I gave it. It's kind of a little boring. It's a nice material. It would have been nice if they contoured it or did some more chamfering, which they didn't. It's just a flat, basic knife. And um, so this is their latest uh, version. And you can see that, hopefully you guys can see that they chamfered it all around. 
and there's a little bit of contouring on the handle so it's a little bit of swell here a little roundedness so if it look it feels a little better and it feels more like money but yeah but pretty cool um let me see if i can kill the lights here so you guys can see the hopefully it glows in the dark hopefully it got charged enough on this light so outside there you go so if that's something you think is cool it is kind of cool you see the backspace is charged nicely i've never seen uh, a glow-in-the-dark shred carbon fiber so it's pretty cool to me you know i am a fan you see menavade's work on my one of my knives where he did the uh moon glow this isn't fully charged yet by the way i can charge it more it does get pretty pretty bright you can see right there you can see the pattern on it so not yet released not yet released in the wild it's going to be some available at blade next weekend so check them out check them out at their table i'm sure you could purchase some there so the g10 version is about 85 bucks i'm sure this one uh it's gonna be around the same price so yeah i think the wire clip would have been awesome although you do see enough of the uh the glow in the dark material there anyway folks that's the Citus by real steel knives designed by poltergeist blade works short video for you guys hopefully it's not too dark it looks so dark on my phone here hopefully you guys can see that all right folks see you guys at blade show peace